Hey guys, I'm Shyam from Scar Studio. So in this video, uh, this is not exactly a tutorial. This is more like a timeless video of me creating content for Instagram. So if you're new here, there's a lot of cool stuff in my channel. So make sure you check them out as well. And uh, I couldn't post a lot of content lately because I moved to a different location and uh, a less distracting one. So I hope you guys enjoy the new content and. Uh, make sure you join our discord server and uh, smash that subscribe button so yeah let's get on with the video oh my god my intro suck so as always we're gonna start by deleting the default scene and i'm gonna switch on my screen cascades now press one go to orthographic view and images add any background image this is the original post i created i'm gonna use that as reference I'm going to enable transparency and decrease the opacity to about 0.4. Now with Shift A, I'm going to add a curves path. Place it over here like that and tab in edit mode. Select everything with A and R, Y, 90. Rotate it 90 degrees in the Y axis. And now I'm going to pull these words and get the curve. A little more curvy follow the path of our reference image and now now I'm gonna rotate this curve 90 degrees in the x-axis and move the curves again to get this shape and now I'm gonna add a circle a busy circle and with shift a I'm going to apply scale and now I'm going to add a busy curve as well and in the geometry tab I'm going to select the bevel object the busy circle and the taper object the other curve the busy curve and now I can rotate the busy curve we just created and get an interesting shape we want so I'm going to pull this down and raise this handle a bit and get a shape that looks something like that okay that looks kind of good for me so i'm gonna leave it like that for now and with shift a i'm gonna add an empty select the curve and add an array modifier deselect relative offset select object offset and select our empty and now i'm gonna select the curve and with shift a i'm gonna apply scale okay that made the curve a little more wider so i'm going back to the basic curve and i'm going to adjust the handles and make it a bit and i'm going to increase the count to about eight so now i'm going to select the empty and in the z location i'm going to type 360 divided by eight and it spreads out evenly now i'm going to play with the vertices a bit again to get something similar to what I have in the background so this is starting to come together and like that looks pretty good for me just push and pull vertices until you get something that you like so this looks good for me now I'm gonna add a cylinder scale it down scale way down place it like that on the bottom and I'm going to extrude the top and bottom faces and add a subdivision surface modifier with control 2 and add two edge loops with control r in the middle as well let's scale it down place it like that shift d duplicate it and put it on top as well and it's looking good so far now i'm also going to adjust the curves a bit to make thickness of the curves a bit bigger and now I'm gonna add a circle, mesh circle, move it on top, scale it down, tab in it, mode, extrude it up, and select, checker, deselect, and move all those vertices down, and uh, drag these up, and add a solidify modifier like that, and subdivision surface modifier, put it on top of the solidify modifier, and place it like that, and scale it up. Tab in edit mode, scale this down, up like that, and scale this bit like that as well. Okay, shade smooth, add a few loop cuts, and uh, it's starting to look okay. And now we are going to add a plane, no, a circle, rotate it like that, 
and extrude it out, extrude it out again, move it back, extrude, move it, to, move it forward, extrude, and uh, scale it down a bit, extrude out again, and extrude in. And now I'm going to extrude out again and scale it way up or something like that and it's good for now. Extrude. And I'm going to delete the bottom vertices and delete one half as well and add a mirror modifier. Select these and extrude them down. Alright, select the, cor uh, the corner vertices with Alt and scale down, move it like that scale move and scale move and it's starting to look good add the subdivision surface modifier with control 2 and i'm gonna add two loop loops like that and i'm also gonna bevel these a few of these edges as well control b control b and control B, control B to bevel and with the mouse wheel you can of course add more loop cuts. Control B. Alright, and extrude out. And control B to bevel again and extrude out. Extrude E and uh, control B to bevel. Right now, I'm gonna place this, move this over there, and uh, you can't really see that, but never mind, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now, I'm gonna add a cube, and we're gonna create something that looks like stairs. So, for that, I'm gonna tab in edit mode, control B to bevel, and in this black box over here in the presets, I'm gonna create steps. I'm gonna increase the number of vertices and create. Uh, some steps like that all right now i'm going to scale it in the y-axis and uh, i'm going to add my camera now and move it to the middle and i'm going to add my plane as well to act as a ground and scale it in the y-axis a little bit more s y and shift d duplicate it and flip it to the other side with SX minus one and I'm gonna shift D duplicate and add another staircase like that as well and place it in the back shift D duplicate and move it over there like this and uh, still you can see a bit from the background so I'm gonna duplicate it again later now in the shading tab I'm gonna add uh, so yeah duplicate that in the shading tab, I'm going to create a new material, make a black material, and increase the roughness a bit, and add it to the wall. And I'm going to uh, F3 convert this to a mesh. And uh, now I can also apply all the modifiers. And uh, I'm going to make one mesh out of this with Control J and add a new material, increase the roughness to about 1.5 and leave it like that and the floor material i'm going to create a new material and add a checker texture and plug it to the base color decrease increase the scale to about 15. And that looks good our queen is sitting on the black square and now i'm going to add a, an image texture shift a and type image texture for some reason the node triangle add-on is not working the way you expect it to work in 2.83 so I hope Blender fix that pretty soon. So for now we are going to have to manually select all our textures. So for this I'm going to add the albedo map and plug it to the dark squares and I might increase the scale to about 2 or we can do 4. If 4 looks good for now, if not we can also increase it as well. So shift D, duplicate the image texture and I'm going to add the roughness map and make it non-color data and plug it to the roughness. Shift D again and now I'm going to add a normal map node and plug the color to the color, normal to the normal and uh, I'm going to add uh, the normal map. So, looks good. I'm gonna plug the 
Victor to the normal and uh, now we can do the lighting so I'm gonna start by adding a point lamp and I'm gonna make it an area lamp eventually so I'm gonna scale it up go to cycles GPU and uh, place it on top like that and I'm gonna increase the strength to about maybe 20 yeah that looks good and uh, place it like that and shift D to maybe uh, rotate it 45 degrees in the angle and uh, shift D duplicate it and add a lamp somewhere over there in the corner in the right side as well increase the strength a bit to about 50 add another point lamp and put it in the back so this of course you can play around with whatever you want so, I was just playing with some lights and it felt like it was too too light in the back and hides the, we are trying to give more emphasis towards our main chest piece so I had to change the colors a bit so it's starting together I'm gonna save the scene and uh, yep so if you create this scene tag me on Instagram so I can see your work and maybe leave some feedback as well and follow me on Instagram, I'm posting more of my work there before I upload on YouTube. So what kind of tutorial do you want me to make next? Whatever you want, let me know uh, in the comments below. I'd love to know. I have a lot of videos like this in my channel, so you guys can check them out as well. So if you want to create this scene, click here. And if you want to watch this animation loop playlist, you can click here for that. So that's it for this video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.